If you in Animate CC want to work with sounds, one option is to use Sound.js, which is a part of Create.js. It works well. There are just some few things that you need to be aware of. So here I have a little project. As you can see, I have the button. And if I click it, you can see the uh, cursor there, the pointer, the finger. I'll get to back to that in a second. But if I click this one, there it was. Isn't that lovely? Let me show you the code here. I'm making fire! <laughs> so I have a button, a variable here called button click sound, and here on the stage I have enable mouse over. This part is part of, uh, it goes together with this line down here, where I have a, the button here as a cursor, as a pointer. So we need to have this one over here in order for this to work. So in uh, first I define a preload, which is part of create.js, and it's, so that is a queue. I'm only loading one file, uh, so there's, if you have several files, and there's no need for that here in, when I work with sounds, uh, if you have several files, you need a load queue and you need to initiate or start the queue. But if you, but if you're only using a uh, loading one file, there's no need. And one file is all we need, which I'll show you here in a second. So preload here, I add an event listener to that. And I'm listening for when the file is loaded, and when the file is loaded, it will fire this handle file complete function down here. And the file to be loaded is in my sounds library, and it is a button click underscore mp3, or in short, I'll just name it button sound. So when the file is loaded, this function will fire. And this line here is important. You have to register the sound for it to play. And you have to uh, wait for the sound to be loaded before you register it. So if I move this part up here, it will not work. So I put it down here and then I register, register the sound. Um, and then I have my variable, the button click sound is, I make the sound called button click, uh, button click sound, well, that is the ID from up there, right? You should think that now I'm ready to play the sound. If I move this up here and I run this, you'll see it will not work. Did you hear that? No, because there was nothing to be heard. And you can see that there, the audio context was not allowed to start. It must be resumed or created after a user gesture on the page. And if I go here onto Google, it will tell us that First, be reminded that it's good practice to wait for a user interaction before starting audio playback as user is aware of something happening. Think of it as a pl think of a play button as an on and off switch, for instance. And it says down here, if it is created prior to the document receiving a user gesture, it will be created in the suspended state and you'll need to call resume after a user gesture is received. So that's what we have to do, apparently. So uh, I have to wait for a user interaction. So I'm making a button, which is in my library. Here is a general button. I can open this. It is just a general button. And inside, I have here in my properties text inside. So I can put whatever text I want to and use the same button here. So I'm making a button. I'll put it on the stage. Normally, I'll put it in a container. But here, I put it on stage. The cursor is the pointer, and the, in the start button, in the text underscore inside, I want the text to be click me. And on this button, I'll add an event listener, and it will, li uh, it will listen for it to be clicked, and then it will fire button clicked, the function down here, button clicked here. And then we can have the button sound. So let's hear it again. Yes, it works. And the good thing about Animate CC is that if you have done this, just with the first sound, I can just... Uh, there is. In my library, I had another sound called Swish. So I can just play this sound now. And I don't have to wait for it to be loaded. It will be there ready for me. 
Did you hear that? Yes. There it was. And uh, if I make a... Um, if I make a variable up there and I make what I call a PG sound, uh, later on I can just say PG sound play like this and it should work. Yeah, there it was. I hope you learned something from this. I made this video <laughs> mostly to remind myself. Happy coding. See you out there.